Hey, what's going on guys? It's Donnie's Donuts here, and this is game two of this series. As can the Hudans close it out, or will the Pineapple Crush force game three? Anything's possible. Obviously, they're, they've been good. As welcome here to Prince Edward Island for game number two of this series. The Hudans perfect 3-0. and And the Pineapple Crush need to break that streak, or else they're done. But... They have been good. Obviously, swept the division winner last round. Here we go with game number two. And now Coleman takes the puck in early. And that stop there by Goss as he's got to try and weather a storm here, maybe. Obviously, the their, their backs are against the wall here. Bergeron's been good in this, in this playoffs. For the PEI, obviously they just made the playoffs as well. Like they just squeaked in, and now, I mean they're well over the machine, but they are down here in this series. And now trying to feed that one in front, big hit. Oh my, tried to get that back though. And now on the four check, but now Bergeron takes that puck up the wing. Here comes Patrice Bergeron with oh my, as he shot that, but it's. Off a body in front, and now up the other way comes Alexander Ovechkin. He takes on the counterattack. Doesn't like what he see. Oh my, getting chased there. As look at this battle from Ovechkin and Bergeron. But now they can't really get his hood on on the end wall or on the half wall. Gets now they gets it back, and now Ovechkin. It's just been a lot of tight checking so far from both of these teams. And now here comes Blake Coleman across. Bergeron scores. Patrice Bergeron takes that puck in and he snipes one and they score the first goal in the second straight game even though they lost the first one. Bergeron rewarded for all that hard work he had along the boards. He's just had a great series as he finally gets rewarded here with a goal. And now the now PEI's up one nothing as now Bergeron trying to make it two. Oh my gosh, just gets a piece of it. See Hudon with 12 points through almost two rounds. Obviously his pay I think he had like 40 or something points last series or last last uh, season. I'm not really sure how much he had, but he had a lot. Has nowhere near what Rock'em Sock'em had, but since he won the cup, he wins the Conn Smite. That's how it goes in this game. I think it should go to the best player, but... You know, what can you do? Is that stop there? And now in the counterattack, Hudon gets up to Cole Caulfield, up the wing. Here comes Caulfield, trying to feed that one back door as, oh my, Ovechkin was going to the net. And now up comes Blake Coleman with the puck to Tim Rusted. Oh, he can't get that, though. And now off the boards. Now Caulfield takes that puck up, but he gets bumped off the puck. And now back the other way come the Pineapple Crush as, as Coleman doesn't like what he sees, so he turns back. Big hit along the corner. Oh, my. That was uh, Skipper McFlanagan, I believe. As so far, as I was turning over, so far PEI's done a good job of limiting the Houdans. So they just kept him at the perimeter so far. As now, but now getting chased there. Houdon takes that puck. A pass in the corner as that kind of got too far away from Caulfield. And now up they come 2-1-2. Two two. Blake Coleman with Bergeron blockered away. Big stop there by Goss. And now back the other way comes Caulfield through center. As now Ovechkin trying to get through. He can't as the, they're just doing a good job so far at trapping up the neutral zone. Flanagan look for a way in he's gonna stop as they have they're just relentless on him and now up they come up Houdon scores and Charles Houdon has tied it at one so they get one chance and Houdon who else and he ties this one As so, we have a brand new game. And the Houdans have tied this game. Now, oh my, Houdan, after a backdoor, they score again! Alex Ovechkin this time, and it's 
Oh, what four check from uh, Charles Udon gets to Caulfield. And just like that, look at that. Strips him off the puck. What a play from Houdon. He has just been all over this series on the score sheet. All over this playoff so far. Wow. Trying to get his team back-to-back -back cups. And what a what a play from the three forwards of Charleston. Houdon, the captain, takes it up again. But now he gets hit off the puck. And now Ryan Ding gets it up to the neutral zone. Caulfield trying to get through. He can't though. And now up comes Tim Rusted. Gets it to Bergeron. And now Bergeron as he get hot, hit off the puck. And back the other way comes Caulfield with Houdon. Here comes Charles Houdon. Look for th his third point of the period. But he can't though. And now Dueling gets it, stays on side. They get it. What a play! Scores! And Tim Rusted has tied it. What a play the other way. And we're tied at two. This is sneakily a really good series so far. Look at that. As he got through somehow. Got that pass over before he gets hit. Takes a hit to make a play. And Coleman just has been great this playoffs. He hasn't really done much this series, but he just did that. <laughs> and now Din in his own zone. He's going to break that out as Ovechkin. Gets it across, and now Houdon gets it there as the trap is going for PEI. But now Caulfield gets through, and that's stopped there. Caulfield on the on the attack, but he gets uh, hit there. He's complaining about an interference call, but he doesn't get it. And now here comes Coleman in the zone as McFlanagan just strips him off the puck there. But Coleman, hard after it, but McFlanagan comes out with that. Turns it over there. Another great defensive play by Patrice Bergeron. He's just been probably the best player for this team as what a play for Houdon. He's definitely been the best player for the Houdons in this series. As, oh, nice little back pass there. Now it comes Patrice Bergeron out with it. Bergeron, oh my, as that gets turned over to Cole Caulfield. He's going to take that back up for the Houdons. Oh, big hit. And now Coleman has a chance as, oh, another great defensive play. But Coleman st steals that. But Ryan Din takes that puck. Caulfield gets through in the neutral zone. Caulfield still has the puck somehow. He's in the corner. Cole Caulfield will oh, try to feed that out to Alex Ovechkin. As one last chance maybe. As now Houdon gets that puck. Is that stole by Caulfield. It's a break. No. It's stopped by Galent. Cole Caulfield looking to make it. 3-2 for the period. It's done. So they're going to pull the goalie here. With 1.5 seconds, looking to try and get one last shot, maybe. But no, it's one there, and that's going to do it for the first. As we're underway with the second period, and it's 2-2. Tie there, as it's a tight game so far. As it's really been tight. Now here comes Ovechkin up the wing. Big hit by Ethan Bear. Oh my, knocks Ovechkin down, but Din returns the favor. As that's high up in the air, chipped up. As I don't know what happened there. As now Houdon right after. But now here comes Liam Dooling up with Rust. And now here comes Tim Rusted across. Coleman scores! Blake Coleman posted in. Has got the lead back for PEI. And he finally gets his first of the series. Exactly two minutes into the period, posted in for Blake Coleman, and it's a 3 2 pineapple crush. Lee, look at being a 4 2, and it stopped there as they finally got more than uh, two goals. As of finally, a team's got more two goals past Matthew Goss. Obviously, he only let in two goals in each of the games so far, actually. He's so he's. Average probably two goals against per game, which is not bad for uh, not bad for this league. Obviously, the goaltenders aren't the best in this league. Obviously, as now gets it down to rusted. Oh my! Gets sandwiched along the boards, but now Bergeron looking to try and just get that in, but it just off the pad there. Now Caulfield takes that puck up, is taken there by Tim Rusted, as 
Great job by him, and now Ethan Bear gets it up to Bergeron. So they're just trying to, you know, just uh, get that out. And now Dooling in the zone, and it's covered up and stopped. So Houdon's once again trailing. So I believe they they never trailed, I don't think, until last game. They never trailed in the first series at all, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm not sure. Now here comes Houdon. Oh my, couldn't get that. And now Tim Rusted gets that puck up the wing. Rusted turned over to Ovechkin. And now back the other way come the Houdons. Here comes Charles Houdon. Up the wing, he shoots, scores! Charles Houdon has tied it again! The captain comes up big! His third point of the night, two goals, one assist, and he sniped one to tie this game again. Oh my. 3-3 three, three tie has what is as so, it's a, it's a great game so far, great period so far. And now they got, oh, Ethan Bear gets knocked down by Ovechkin. And now up comes Tim Rusted getting chased there. He t he dumps it down there and Houdon lets it go around. And now McFlanagan gets that puck up as now, oh, what a move there. And now Caulfield, oh my, is he lost the puck there. And now up comes Blake Coleman up the wing. Coleman on the counterattack gets hit by Ryan Din and now Houdon takes that puck across to McFlanagan. Here comes Charleston in the zone. Oh, Caulfield couldn't get that much room there as they're doing a good job shutting him down. But uh, Houdon is the one they really got to try and shut down. And Ovechkin obviously is now big hit there. Oh my, Caulfield not having a fun game so far as now Bergeron back. As now one timer as that was a trap. A uh, hard save and a penalty coming up here. Penalty come to Charles Houdon. I believe for tripping. Yeah, it was. And so the Pontiff Crush get an opportunity here to take the lead again. Their first power play opportunity of the series. I believe it was the first power play of the series. As now Nita Ryder shoots already. As Nita Ryder on the power play as he kicks along the boards. One timer scores! As they do get the go ahead goal. It's Nito Nita Ryder on the power play. He has great work down low, and Bergeron gets another assist. As look at that, just kicks along the wall. One timer. Who's watching him? And they get the fourth goal. It's 4 3 PEI. And so the Houdons are trailing again. And now Ovechkin gets through now. Now in the slot, and they've tied it just like that again. Cole Caulfield in the slot. And what a pass from Alex Ovechkin. What a play from him. 4-4. Four, four. Look at that. Gets through on the in the slot one-timer. Past the glove of Lena Galant. Coffee finally gets a goal. And what a wild period this has been so far. As now Coleman is trying to get that though. And now here comes Caulfield trying to get the lead for the Houdons. Ovechkin! Oh my, it was stopped there. <clears throat> and now here comes Coleman up through center. Coleman looking to get the lead again. As the Houdons have not had the, a lead in this game so far. <clears throat> Here comes Cole Caulfield back. Back to Houdon. Oh, boy. That was a great chance there. And now gets it back. McFlanagan across. Great passing play. Oh, big stop there from a big shot from Ryan Din. As he gets that across to Caulfield back as they cycle it down low. And now back to Ryan Din who gets absolutely rocked there. Wow, this has been a rough series so far. Bergeron, that's turned over there to McFlanagan. Here comes Skipper McFlanagan in the zone. The Irishman, oh my, couldn't get it. Ovechkin spins and shoots as he can't do it though. As now Bergeron getting shadowed there is, oh my, fends him off. What a play by Bergeron. He's had a great game. And now Coleman 
in the zone across Bear shoots he gets a rebound and scores Ethan Bear regains the lead again for the Pineapple Crush what a wild period as he couldn't handle the rebound and this is the first bad game for Matt Goss he finally lets he finally lets in more than two goals and now he's let him five oh it's kind of getting ugly for him now and now Ovechkin battles there and now here comes Ron Din through center or he gets it in full what a shot by Ovechkin and it's tied 5-5 five, five. Ryan did kind of similar to the fourth goal, but Ovechkin this time gets the one-timer. Oh my, he puts all of his effort into that one. Post and in, one-timer, and we're tied at five just like that. Once again, the Houdans tie it. They have not been down by two in this game. Once, the, once they get the lead, they just tie it right back. And now Tim Rustin looking to get the lead again. Coleman backhander. And now here comes Houdon up the wing. As he's got Caulfield going to the net. He shoots, scores! And for the first time in the game, the Houdons take the lead. Charles Houdon with the hat trick. Oh, my. Snipes that one just like the his first goal. Post, or... I don't know if it was posted, I don't think it was, but past the glove has been just, I think her weakness is her glove, because that's a lot of the, a lot of the Houdon's goals have went glove side. And so it's a 6-5 Houdon's lead. What a wild period. Oh my. As now Bergeron looking to tie this one at 6. And now gets it back to Bergeron, and now he gets that free, and that's blockered away. Here comes Ryan Din up to Houdon. He gets through center. As now Ovechkin in the zone trying to snap that one. As he can't though. And now Liam Dooling gets it home. Oh, big hit by Ryan Din. And now off comes McFlanagan with six seconds to go. Houdon gets free. Scores! His fourth of the night. Charles Houdon. What a night for the captain. I believe that was his fourth. I don't know if it was fourth or third. But nonetheless, another goal that goes glove side. I could be an idiot and it could be three, but I'm not sure. No, it's four. Oh my, fourth of the night for Charles Houdon. And that's going to do it. What a wild period. Can the Houdon, or can the Houdons close this series out? Wow, what a second period, seven to five. It was, I believe, it was two two at the end of the first period, and now it's seven to five. And so, the Houdons are up seven five here. It's, oh, that's a big shot. So yeah, can the Houdons close this one out? As are they going to play defense? Or are they going to sit back? Or are they going to try and get another one here? So in the slot and that stop their rebound another stop by Goss and he covers that one up See so the first kind of bad game for Goss, but his offense in front of him bails him out so far Hasn't really been a defensive game as the faceoffs have really been in Bergeron's favor this game here comes Alex Ovechkin Ovechkin in the win along the boards and now gets it back to Caulfield he snaps the one fast but he can't get it <coughs> past the glove and now Ovechkin gets that oh my he couldn't get that in front is now oh he just gets that one down the Houdons with the pressure so yeah they gotta try and come back here the Houdons so far with the uh, good forecheck so the Houdons never led in that wild second period until until they made six five and now seven five. The first two goal lead of the the game goes to Charleston. 
as who was never led through it the majority of the game. And now gets it across. Oh, backhander there. As that just shows, as the Houdons just, they never quit. As now, oh, a break for Tim Rusted. Here comes Rusted. Stop. Oh, my, goes behind him. It just trickles wide. Big stop there as it really go out and challenge him there. Now Caulfield gets through and it's stopped there by Gallant. Obviously, the as Matthew Goss has the breakaway X factor, so he's really good on breakaways. Obviously, he's always has been. So the Houdons, who they beat in the f they beat in their three cups, was the first time was the Trailer Park Boys, who obviously took them to Game Three. It was only three game series, and now Coleman with the shot and it's gloved and covered up, and then obviously they. Pretty much dominate season four and uh, beat Erie Stars. They beat Erie Stars in uh, two games. Obviously, they didn't have home ice advantage for that one because Erie Stars were so good. Once again, came up short. Obviously, that same thing happened against the Potters that time, who also went back to back. The two times they went to the to the Cup Finals, they lost to a team that went back to back. And then the third time, obviously, the, well, the third time they actually lost in the finals was against the Potters, who ended their three-peat in three games. Oh, that's, oh, just missed the net. So the Potters have had the Houdon's number in the final so far. Obviously, they beat them also in season two as well. No, no, up the wing comes PEI. They're running out of time here. As not much has happened in this third period as they're not on pace for a wild third. And now here comes Houdon now with four goals on the night. Caulfield oh, looking to get that uh, another, get Houdon another point. And now gets it there. Ovechkin tries to spin and shoot there, but he can't. And now up the wing comes PEI Coleman. Oh, my. Couldn't get that with eight minutes to go. And now here comes Caulfield with chance. Oh my, couldn't get that though. And now Ovech can be on the net. As the Houdon's really on the attack here. And that's covered up. Yeah, so they're really forechecking them here. So, like I said, um, the Season 15 will probably be in... Uh, We'll probably be in uh, NHL 23. I don't know yet. Might might have to... We'll see. I think it might be, though, because... Kind of getting to that point. There now! Oh, my big hit. Because obviously it comes out in October, and the offseason has to happen and stuff. By the time that happens, it won't be enough to jam it into NHL 22. But, yeah. So then we'll start with NHL 23... Obviously, which will be good. McFlanagan snipes one, and Skipper McFlanagan might have put this series to rest. And the Houdons might be moving on to the conference final. Look at that snipe. The defensive defenseman gets on the board. McFlanagan, the Irishman. 4.55 left. That might be all she wrote for this series and for the Pineapple Crushes season. They had a good, they had a good season. Obviously, they beat them. They pretty much it was like uh, the Columbus versus Tampa that time, where they just absolutely shocked the world. 4:20 to go in the third period. Eight to five for Charleston. As now they get it across, and now here comes Charles Houdon. Houdon in the zone, or he's, he's in the neutral zone. Gets it across, and now Ryan Din takes that puck up. Din now across, McFlanagan! Oh my, couldn't get that though. <coughs> now Ovechkin steals that. They've just been amazing this third, but uh, Ryan Din, uh, he lost, lost the puck for a second. And it's offside, but they're just killing the time here. And so PEI, after that fifth goal, has not really got anything going. They need to 
obviously their face elimination. There goes the goaltender. Empty net. Oh my, oh my, but Lucas Raymond might have just sealed their season with a penalty. Obviously coming, at, trying to get out the puck, but he just kind of never let up. And he might just cost his team. Obviously, it's 8-5. to five. It wasn't look good at all, but now it's looking even more bleak. And now Turcott after it. Now Ovechkin gets it back door, and Ryan Din puts that one in, and it's 9-5. And that's going to do it. The Hudons are going back to the conference final, and they continue their defense of the championship, of their last season's championship. Trying to go back to back. Ryan Din down low as obviously they had him on the wing for the power play. Obviously he was looking pretty, it was actually looking like a pretty good game, pretty close, and then the Houdon just took control in the second half of the game. As that missed the net, as now Caulfield trying to get that at, as now, oh my, McFlanagan gets hit off the puck there, and now here comes Houdon up the wing. Charles Houdon looked for his fifth of the night. He has around, I think he has like eight points or something in this game. So PEI, they had a good run. Obviously they tried to, they just had no match for Charles. They were just unbelievable. And now gets it up there. Here comes Blake Coleman. Coleman takes that puck up. Coleman in the wing as, oh my, couldn't get that. Now here, now Houdon takes that puck up to Cole Caulfield. Here comes Caulfield up the wing as he gets that in the zone beyond the net. Caulfield stops. What a move. Oh, it stopped there. The Houdons took control after they made it 6-5. Or even after they tied it. I'll, actually, they have less shots. But 20 saves for Goss and it's just not been a good game for Gallant at all. And so the Charleston Houdons will move on here. And now here comes Ovechkin, two on one. Ovechkin stops, scores! So I believe that actually was the eighth point for Charles Houdon. Alex Ovechkin gets 10, and that's 10 for Charleston. Wow. They are a great defensive team and they put up offense. They are just a great all around team. Will anyone beat this team? And so the Huda as the rematch of last last year's final looks a bit more likely now. Both teams are heading to the conference final. Charleston will move one step closer to defending their Potter Cup championship and go back to back. <clears throat> so they win the series 2-0. The handshakes is uh, just a great series for the Houdans. So guys, I will see you all in the last series of round two.